Today's recipe is this incredibly delicious, super easy to make grouper fish stew. Watch till the end of the video for the delicious cardamom rice recipe. The fish is cooked perfectly. Mmm, amazing. Elevating the flavor of this fish stew requires three steps. First, pan searing the grouper. Second, creating the rustic broth using whole canned tomatoes. And third, finishing this pan seared grouper in the sauce. I have four beautiful pieces of grouper. Have the skin on. You want to rinse and dry thoroughly. We're just going to season this with salt and fresh ground black pepper. Using one teaspoon kosher salt, half teaspoon fresh ground black pepper, I season the fish right before searing. I want to heat up my pan. I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. You can use avocado oil. Canola oil works as well. A very hot pan without smoking allows it to act as a non-stick vessel and the fish will not stick. You always want to put the fish down away from you. The fish will actually tell you when it's ready to flip. It usually releases very easily. Three to four minutes on the skin side. Once the skin release, flip it and then it takes another uh, maybe two minutes if that much. I don't want the second side to be cooked for long, so this is a bit on the cook. It's going to finish in the sauce. I'm going to add in my onion. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you. Smells amazing. Love the smell of onion. Just for a couple of minutes. So I want to add in my garlic, scallions, chopped about four to five scallions. Add in my carrots. Three small carrots work. I'm gonna add in my spice mix. This is smoked paprika, ground turmeric, and red pepper flakes, which is optional. But it does make a difference, this little bit of spice in it. Pinch of fresh ground black pepper, nice pinch of salt. It smells amazing! And I love to add a little bit of um, tomato paste, about a tablespoon. That for maybe two minutes. Potatoes. This is one large Idaho potato. It's gonna add some texture to the sauce. I want more sauce. And I have my whole tomatoes. This is a 20, 28 ounce can or so. I like to use my handy dandy potato masher to break it up. And I have some chicken stock, or you could use vegetable stock if you want. That's about a half a cup. Wow, this looks beautiful. Taste. The right amount of uh, seasoning. Cover this, bring it to a boil, and then I'm going to reduce the heat to low and simmer. The potatoes and the carrots are very tender. While the stew is cooking, I'm making some basmati brown rice to go with it. I have in here about a tablespoon and a half of ghee, and I have a cup of basmati brown rice that I've rinsed a few times until the water runs clear. It's really quick and easy. I'm gonna let the rice soak a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add in a nice bunch of thyme, two garlic uh, cloves, one basil. <laughs> Um, three cardamom pods. I've uh, opened up the pods a little bit to get all that flavor out. And three uh, cloves. Add in about a teaspoon of salt and I like a little bit of black pepper. Add in two cups of stock. I'm using chicken stock. You could use water or you could use vegetable stock. You cover this and bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat and let it simmer. It's been about 30 minutes. Wow, look at the color. Amazing. This is a nice chunky sauce. It smells so good. Let's taste again. It's really good. Check the potatoes. Nice and pork tender. 
carrots are nice and pork tender. What I want to do now is add back the fish. Gently submerge it into the liquid. Cover this and let it cook for a few minutes so that the fish cooks through. It's been about three minutes. Wow, look at that. I just wanted the fish to cook through and through. I'm going to top it off with some fresh cilantro. Fresh cilantro I picked from my garden. garden has been incredibly amazing this year. How gorgeous. Time. It smells so delish. Wow. This fish stew worked perfectly with the brown rice. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's so good. Look at this. Nice and flaky. Mm. Wow. It's so sweet. It's delicious. It, it works perfectly with the uh, rusticness of the sauce. Mm. Potato is nice and creamy. Just a little hint of heat from the hot pepper flakes. Mm. Wow, perfect. Look at this. How perfect is this? <laughs> wow. This is a must try. Amazing, amazing.